The train eater woke up suddenly. Its eyes flew open, like a thousand burning coals lighting up the dark tunnel where it was standing. Its tongue slithered like a venomous snake. The train looked ready to swallow everything in its path. It had no idea how it ended up in this strange place. The tunnel was empty, but the air felt dangerous. The train eater rolled forward, tearing through the silence with the screeching of its wheels. It felt a hunger, an insatiable, all-consuming hunger that demanded new victims. Up ahead, a light appeared, and it rushed towards it, hoping that it was a way out. Soon, it emerged from the tunnel and found itself at a train station that looked like it had been abandoned for many years. On the platform stood an old man in a ragged coat. His eyes were tired, but full of determination. You shouldn't have woken up, the man said, his voice raspy as if he hadn't spoken for years. The train opened its doors and sucked in air, along with the man. He didn't even have time to scream. He just vanished as if he had never even been there. At that moment, everything around the train eater vibrated. A flash lit up the place, and the train was back where it had started mere minutes ago. It was as if everything that had just happened was nothing but a dream. The train eater was back in the tunnel, and the light ahead beckoned once more. At first, the train didn't understand what had happened, but when it emerged again to see the same station and the same old man, it realized that it was trapped. The train eater swallowed the man once again. There was the same crackling, same noise, and the same flash. And it was back in the dark tunnel with a light flickering ahead. The train had traveled through time, back to where it started just minutes ago. The train eater knew it was a trap, and to escape it, the train had to come up with a new strategy. Once, it decided to pass by the man without touching him. He traveled for days, maybe even weeks, but always ended up back at the same abandoned station with the same strange man and nothing else. Absolutely nothing else. No towns, no villages, no roads. Every time it swallowed the man, it ended up right back at that same cursed place. Another time, it tried hiding, camouflaging itself as an old rusty train, hoping that would break the cycle. But nothing changed. The train eater kept arriving back at the start. With each new attempt, it felt its power weakening, as if every new loop stole a piece of its energy. Soon, it noticed something else strange. With every repeat, the man looked younger. First, he was a tired old man, then a strong middle-aged man, and later, a young guy filled with energy. Only his clothes stayed the same. The train eater started to realize that this man was somehow tied to this time loop it was trapped in. But what if this man wasn't a victim? Maybe he was the key to solving this puzzle. The train eater knew he didn't have much time left. Every new loop drained its strength, and if it didn't find a way out, it would disappear forever. During the next attempt, the train eater decided to do something different. Instead of devouring the old man, it stopped in front of him and started watching him carefully. The young guy standing on the platform looked tense, but the fear that was once in his eyes was gone. Who are you? The train eater asked in his mind. The young man raised an eyebrow in surprise, but then smirked. Finally, he's starting to think, he said. I am you, or rather, I'm a part of you. The train froze, stunned by what it had heard. This 
identity. This person who had always been its victim was actually a reflection of itself. But how was that possible? You'll understand if you stop acting like a monster and start thinking. The man continued. We're stuck here together, and if you don't figure out a way out, we'll both disappear. The train eater felt its patience wearing thin, but the young man's words made it think. If this person was a part of it, maybe he did know how to escape, but could it trust him? Should it trust him? You need to understand that the power you crave won't lead to freedom. The guy's voice grew firmer. The only way out of here is to understand who we are and why we're here. The train eater started to slowly grasp the truth. All this time, it had been fighting itself. Its own hunger, its thirst for destruction clouding its mind. Now, it had to figure out how to escape this time trap. Together, they started searching for a way out. The guy, who was a part of the train eater, explained that the time trap was created to hold it back from further destruction. Someone or something had created the saloon to protect the world from what the train would do had it escaped. But I want to live, the young man said. I want to break free. We need to find a way to outsmart this trap. The train knew it had one last chance to save itself because its strength was nearly gone. Instead of following its train eater instincts and destroying innocent people, it now had to find a different path to freedom, to save both of them. Then they got an idea. What if instead of moving forward, they moved backwards? They realized that if the train eater moved in reverse, the cycle slowed down. And if it moved towards the light, the cycle sped up. They were onto something. So now, they had a plan. The train eater began moving backwards, going against its instincts and logic. Each movement was a struggle, but they knew it was their only chance. At one point, the young man, who had once been an old man, disappeared. Now the train eater was alone, but it knew it was on the right path. The tunnel started to vibrate, the walls began to collapse, but the train eater kept moving backwards. Suddenly, a storm whipped up around it, like a tornado trying to keep it in place. Its energy was fading fast, but at that moment, it made one final leap. One final push. It rushed, not towards the light, but into the darkness where it had been afraid to go before. Then, the tunnel exploded with a bright light. The time trap shattered, and the train eater broke free. But when the train finally escaped the time loop, it realized everything had changed. The world it found itself in was different. It wasn't in its own time or even in its own dimension. Now, it was in the future, where railroads had been forgotten and trains were relics of the past. Its strength nearly gone, the train realized it was in a world where it would have a hard time finding its place. In the distance, it saw figures of people watching it. They were dressed in strange, unfamiliar clothes that looked like spacesuits, their faces showing a mix of curiosity and fear. These people had probably never known regular trains, let alone train eater trains. They lived in a world where technology had advanced far beyond railroads, making them mere legends of the past. How will the train eater escape this time and this future? Smash that like button if you want to know if the train will make it in this new world and if it will return to its time.